Okay, so we are here in uh, Java Police event in Antwerp, Belgium, and uh, this great, great event in Europe. Mm -hmm. And I'm here with Roman, and he's a NetBeans evangelist at Sun Microsystems, and he lives in Prague, and he's very well known for his flash demos on the web, his great blog about NetBeans, and his very cool, fast demos on stage. Thanks, Bruno. Uh, and I'm here with Bruno Souza, who is the new NetBeans community manager. Well, Bruno was uh, hired by Sun just recently, and Bruno is helping us to grow NetBeans community. So we are here at Javapolis. It's uh, a lot of fun, and uh, there was some big news today, uh, this week. Yes, some big news this week, Roman, about the, the release of JDK 6. I was actually in London when there was an mm -hmm. And uh, so what do you think that that's going to affect NetBeans? How do you think NetBeans is going to benefit from this great new release of Java? So there are two important things about uh, Java SE 6. Uh, one of them are performance improvements. And of course, everybody can benefit from them just by migrating to Java SE 6. There's like, I've seen some of the graphs. It's like uh, 5 to 20 percent, depending on the usage. So this is great. And the other good thing is uh, support for uh, Linux desktop, support of, of letter support of Swing on various desktops, uh, support for Vista and so on. All these Swing improvements, uh, if you use NetBeans, you take advantage of them. And of course, if you build applications on top of NetBeans, you also take advantage of all these improvements. So that's good. Yes, there's this, uh, was this discussion about you know, NetBeans fonts not being very good. You know, this was all a Swing mm -hmm. thing, right, that's been solved in JDK right, 6. Right, right, right. Yeah, you get the anti-aliasing, it's a terrible word, anti-aliasing <laughs> <laughs> support, and uh, that, that's really nice. Um, the other things, as uh, the JDK is now being open source, you can also, for instance, get Java C sources uh, through NetBeans. So you can go to the update center right. and download Java C and just take a look at the code, play with it, maybe change it, contribute. Uh, some change and uh, and so on. So yes, it's now you you just talked about Open JDK, and uh, I think the one cool thing is that Open you know the, the hotspots and Java C and Java Help have been released as open source already, and uh, the engineers from the JDK team took the effort to prepare uh, a, a very easy uh, usage of NetBeans on that. So yeah, you yeah, can yeah, actually yeah. go there, download the source code and immediately start hacking at it inside NetBeans, right? Yeah, and that's what we are going to do when the whole JDK 6 is available. Uh, you will, it will be really very easy to open the whole JDK in NetBeans. So for every, anybody who wants to take a look at the sources, who wants to contribute, it would be easy to do so through NetBeans. Right, and, and have to remember that it's not only JDK that's open source, right? NetBeans is, is, has been open source since 2000. It has mm -hmm. a very strong yep. open source community. So you can actually download uh, the source code of NetBeans itself in the NetBeans platform, and you can add to it. You can improve NetBeans. You can participate in this in this yep. development yeah, community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was possible since uh, year 2000 when Sun open source NetBeans, and I think that's the reason why actually use uh, people use NetBeans worldwide because the sources are available. So we are able to build this community around NetBeans. Uh, there's a lot of contributors to NetBeans, and especially after version 5.0. We see people started to build a lot of plugins for NetBeans, which is really right. cool because we can support technologies. You know, we have a limited team, like um, we have uh, a number of engineers, but the whole community for Java is much larger than just uh, Sun or, or, you know, Sun technologies or JCP technologies. There are also some other technologies. And thanks to that, we, for, for instance, support now Spring or Hibernate or this kind of technologies as well. So it's right. really good. That's, that's very, very cool. And, and we have to remember that NetBeans 5, 5.5 uh, .5 is out about a month now. Yep. And we have been seeing a lot of excitement uh, for the new release. That's uh, a lot of improvement on the server-side development and support for, for JEE 5. And I think NetBeans has been, you know, ahead of the game on the server-side area. Yep, I agree with that. Uh, we are one of the first IDEs to deliver full support for Java EE 5, which is the new important standard for enterprise Java. And there's much more than that. Uh, NetBeans 5.5 is not only about Java E5. There are all the packs which you can download. These are the extra features which you get to NetBeans, including visual web development, uh, SOA applications, profiling, mobility, uh, C and C++. 
and we are working on more. So in NetBeans 6, so you will get great support for scripting languages. Like people have been asking us for, for a long time for good JavaScript support. So that's coming in 6, so it will be very nicely integrated. And you know, things like JRuby and other scripting languages. And of course, the new editor, which is a big deal for NetBeans 6. Yes, and, and NetBeans 6 is, is looking very good. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a very early release out there if people want to try it out. We have uh, first uh, first milestone with the new uh, Java editor infrastructure, milestone five. Uh, it's it's not completely stable yet, but we are getting there. I think the next milestones uh, will will be more and more stable. And as we approach the release, uh, all the new editor features they are really really great, and it's all the good stuff. So yes, people should try it out. That's that's the beauty of open source project, right? Yep, you, yep, you, yep. you can get access to the new stuff, you know, right away, and you can see yeah, how it's yeah, going. Yeah. You can you can come in and participate in and give your suggestions and even mm -hmm. you know hack on the code to make make the next release even better. Yeah, 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 absolutely. You can get the milestone. We do them every five weeks, and you can take a look at it. And we will be very happy if you send us feedback. So if you find any bug, you can file it to Issuezilla. Or if you uh, want to see some enhancements, send them to the mailing list or file them. Uh, we look forward to a lot of feedback because uh, of course we want to build the best ID out there. That's right, and you know that's my job now to work with the community. So you know, please come to us. Uh, we we want to support you better, and we want to hear your feedback. We want to you to participate on on the development of NetBeans. So Bruno, how can people contact you? Oh, now I know it's. Do I, you have I've a been, Sun email address now? Yes, I've been at Sun for two weeks now, and I have a uh, email address. It's Bruno Souza, S O U Z A at Sun .com. Very easy. You can also comment. Send emails to Bruno. Yes, send emails to me, and uh, you know, if you're a Java user group leader, we want to talk to you. We want to see how we can support you. If you are, uh, you know, you're a university professor, we want to discuss how how we can help you showing that beans to your, to, to to your students. If you are a developer, you know, a plugin developer or a NetBeans developer, or even an Eclipse developer, we want to talk to you. We want to see. How we can make NetBeans a great IDE that competes, you know, head to head with other IDEs out there, mm -hmm. and also, you know, that makes the whole Java ecosystem a much better place for all of us. Yep. Okay. I agree with that. I agree with that. Absolutely. Right. So thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. This is Roman and, and Bruno, Bruno. <laughs> from uh, the Java Police events. <laughs>